Welcome back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey, and thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Uh, today, this is going to be another one of my artist series, and I believe it's episode 48, I think. So I'm getting closer to that sort of half century mark, I suppose you can call it, the 50 episodes. But yeah, this one will be episode 48, uh, and it's going to be featuring fellow Australian and very good mate of mine, Jamie Johnson. Um, now Jamie's been around a while, uh, for a little while, um, has done a lot of comic published work, unfortunately, but he's been, you know, doing the circuits of Australian conventions, things like that for quite a few, many years. Absolute awesome, awesome artist, awesome bloke, great friend. Um, Jamie has done, he's probably most known for his turtles and his, uh, phantom work. Uh, mainly a cover artist, as far as I know. He might have done some interiors for something, but he's um, he's done work. He's uh, He did some Last Ronin covers, and he's also done some TMNT, I think, for IDW covers as well. Uh, he's also done, I think, some covers or some interiors, something for Cult of Dracula as well, I believe. Uh, but he's also dabbled in some graphic design and, and some other stuff as well. But, um, yeah, with this particular, I only have one piece from Jamie... Um, but you know, every time he's at a convention I'm there, always good to, you know, just chill out and hang out and, you know, shoot the breeze with him and stuff like that. Such an easy guy to talk to, so friendly and so accommodating, uh, to his fans and his friends. Um, but this piece, a little bit of turmoil with it, and it's not because of Jamie, it's because of the time that it was. This piece was done at the start of 2020. Now, if you know that turmoil time we're talking about yes the start of the pandemic so if you've watched uh any of my artist series before and you've seen the episode from freddie williams um this is basically the same this was the same convention supernova and it was they ran it quite a bit early it was done in like i think early to mid march when they usually run it sort of early to mid april um but this one was done quite a bit earlier and I remember rightly, so I'm just trying to think, yeah, there was James O'Barr, Kevin Eastman was there. He was not sketching at all, so I didn't even bother trying. Um, yeah, Kevin Eastman, James O'Barr, Freddie Williams, and uh, yeah, Jamie, and might have been a couple other ones there. Um, but, you know, I said to Jamie, I said, look, I haven't got a piece from you yet. You know, is there any chance I could I could get a piece from you? You know, just set it up so I could just pay you and pick it up at the show. And he's like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Easy done. Um, I said, you know, just anything Spider-Verse. He said, yep, cool, easy done. Um, and it's funny, actually, because for that convention, I was actually helping um, a stall actually do set up, like we quite often do. So we do get exhibitor passes. I was there on the Friday night, and Jamie actually bumped into Jamie in the car park. And I'm like, did you get a chance to finish it? And he goes... I actually started it and got nearly all the way through it and I hated it. So I scrapped it and started again. I'm like, oh no, he's not gonna be he's not gonna be finished. Um by the by the time the show finishes. Um obviously he was. Um but yeah, my my first thought was he's not gonna be finished, he's gonna have to ship it out or something like that to me. Which is only he lives in uh, New South Wales or Sydney, so the next uh, state up, so it's not nor here nor there, I could just catch him at another show. Um, but my first thought was I'm not going to get it by the end of the show. I want to do, you know, see all the pieces I get and do maybe a haul video or something, but I wasn't actually doing videos at that point. Um, but I think I want to, yeah, just like post photos on Facebook of my haul or whatever it was. And, um, so he's like, oh, he goes, I'll get it done by the end of the show and whatever. And I'm like, oh yes, wait, you have no dramas and all that sort of stuff. I gave him the money anyway and said, look, you know, just when you get a chance, um, but yeah, obviously, yeah, the, the, the turmoil was more the fact of that all the word was going, cause it, cause the, um, pandemic didn't really hit Australia until that, like literally that weekend. Um, there was rumors going around that people had heard about it, but nobody really knew what was going on. Um, there was a lot of trouble. Like I know the international comic stars and, um, like celebrities, like the TV stars, movie stars, things. They had trouble getting out of the country because a lot of flights were cancelled. So it literally sort of hit. No, sorry, not that weekend, the following weekend it was because they did back to back. They did Melbourne and Brisbane, I think. But the rumours were going around in Melbourne 
they'd flew up to Brisbane and that's how they had, they had trouble getting out of the country. Um, all the internationals, but they ended up, they all obviously got out all right, but um, yeah, it was a bit of, bit of a turmoil time and obviously the start of, you know, as I said, the pandemic, it was, it was not fun times. But silver lining, I got the pace. Jamie did an absolutely awesome, awesome job. Um, I think he still wants to do another piece for me because uh, I don't think he was still happy with this one either. I love it. And that's the main thing. I love it. And I was happy to pay for it. Um, but yeah, I'll get another piece from Jamie at some point. Like, I know I'm on hiatus, but I think I, I think I need to at least get another, at least one more piece from Jamie. But um, ended up choosing Miles Morales Spider-Man. I just love the... How he's done the, the colours on the jacket and things like that. Obviously, he's used... He's done the... Uh, Old school Jordan ones, like they, you know, they released. There's Jamie's, just a very plain, nice, easy to read signature. 2020. But yeah, very, very cool piece. Love it to death. I don't actually have many Miles pieces. I don't think I need, maybe have two or three, possibly. But he's done some nice sort of background elements in there as well. But obviously the main, main focus is on Miles himself. Because sometimes a lot of artists, like when they do these sort of things, like these commissions and original art and stuff like that, sometimes you're looking more at the background than the figure because they don't really put sort of enough pop into the character itself. And then you like you see all this gorgeous background. Sometimes the character can get lost a little bit. But yeah, with this pace, definitely not because... The focus is on, obviously, because if he's added the colour and the shading and things like that in the black to Miles himself, and obviously, you know, the red and the jacket really pops, and obviously the shoes as well. Um, but just, yeah, the, the background really complements this piece. Nothing too over the top, but still very, very cool. So, there we go. So, that'll do for this particular episode. Um, please do all the usual YouTube stuff, but before you, like, while you're doing the usual YouTube stuff, please check out the links below. I'll chuck Jamie's, a uh, couple of his links down below. Um, I think he's, like, his website and Instagram and Facebook, like, that sort of stuff. Please go show him some love. You know, click on his, you know, like his stuff. If you maybe want to get a commission from him or maybe because he does have a, like a big cartel type site where you can buy some of his original art, go and check it out. Buy some of his stuff. Awesome guy. Always willing to work with you. Um, and yeah, super talented and fellow Aussie, as I said. So yeah, show him some love. We'll go from there. All right. Usual YouTube. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. And please, please hit that subscribe button. But anyway... That'll do for this particular video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And Spidey, out.